It's time for Recipe of the Day. Today, I have a great recipe for your meatless Monday. If you do meatless Mondays or if you're just in the meatless mood, actually, this also kind of can work as a side dish. So if you are going to do something with some kind of other protein meat, you could do that as well. This is zucchini parmesan, which is essentially a big sheet pan that has slices of zucchini on it that are topped with cheese, tomato sauce, crunchy breadcrumbs. And then as it cooks, kind of gets a little saucy on the pan. So you can spoon that onto rice or noodles or even like some baguette, toasted garlic bread, something like that. So it will make your dinner or can be a great side for something else. What you're doing is you're going to preheat the broiler and then you're going to get out some medium-sized zucchini. And by medium-sized, I mean medium-sized that you see at the grocery store, not medium-sized that you grow in the garden. The medium of those is quite, quite big. You can totally use them. You're just not going to need quite as many. It calls for three medium zucchinis. If you've got those massive medium zucchinis, you're probably only going to need one. Okay, you slice the zucchini into half inch thick slices, then spray a baking sheet with cooking spray. You want your baking sheet that can handle going under the broiler. And then you put those zucchini rounds on there in a single layer, sprinkle them with salt and pepper, and then they're just going under the broiler until they start to brown a little bit and get just a little bit soft. You've probably heard me rant about this before. I don't really like mushy zucchini when the middle of it is turned to just like liquidy, mushy zucchini. I like it to have a little bit more texture. So you're just kind of browning it just letting it start to soften. And I'll say that one of the tricks here is really your own balance between how brown you want that zucchini to get and how soft you want it to get. If you do want it to get softer, you can start it broiling lower in the oven so it's further from the heat source. It's going to take longer for it to brown. It's not going to burn and it'll start getting softer in the middle. If you are like me and you want it more al dente, like you even maybe want some crunch to it, then you would do it higher in the broiler so that it browns quickly and doesn't have time to get very soft. However you do it, it's in there for somewhere between five to eight minutes. Then you're going in and putting about a tablespoon of tomato sauce onto each of those rounds. Now you can totally measure this a tablespoon at a time onto each one. But if you're doing a lot of them, I find it easier to just put the tomato sauce into like a liquid measuring cup with a spout and just kind of pour it over them. So you kind of pour and then stop pouring, pour and then stop pouring, pour and then stop pouring as you go your way along the whole sheet of those zucchinis. Then you are going in with some shredded mozzarella cheese, a little pile onto each one. And then you have two options here. You can either sprinkle some panko breadcrumbs just as they are onto there and then spray that with cooking spray or you can get your panko breadcrumbs put them in a bowl and add a little bit of olive oil salt pepper garlic powder you could do dried oregano or basil in there i'll give you amounts here for half a cup of panko breadcrumbs you're going to do one teaspoon of olive oil just an eighth of a teaspoon of salt eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper quarter teaspoon garlic powder and as much as half a teaspoon of dried oregano or basil or combination no more than half a teaspoon total now you're going to start mixing that up and you're going to find that the olive oil doesn't seem like it's going to mix well enough just mix a little bit more keep going it's going to moisten all of those bread crumbs, which makes them toast up really nicely. You can add some Parmesan cheese to that mixture as well. If you want grated Parmesan cheese, oh, about a quarter of a cup is going to be fantastic. Mix that in really well as well. So however you're doing it, you're either doing just the straight panko breadcrumbs with a little cooking spray. That's the easiest, quickest way, lazy way. You can get those panko breadcrumbs into a bowl and add the oil and then all this other stuff to it to make them more flavorful. The breadcrumbs are now on top of the cheese and they go back under the broiler just until those crumbs are brown and the cheese is melted. It's not going to take very long. Do not walk away. Keep watching them looking through the glass of your oven. You just want things melty and brown and then you serve. One quick thing, if you were planning to serve this on noodles or rice or something and you wanted more of that sauciness, you would put more of the tomato sauce onto each round. So it's kind of like dripping down off. You can even pour it onto the pan a little bit and then it's going to warm up from the broiler and that's going to make your sauce. If you're serving these kind of just on their own, then you wouldn't put as much sauce. Although a lot of sauce and then just some nice garlic toast to dip in. That sounds amazing too. However you're going to do it, I know you're going to love it. I'll put the link to this recipe in the show notes or you can head to cookthestory.com slash ROTD and get it there. I'd like to ask a quick favor of you wherever you are listening to this podcast, if they allow you to rate and review it, 
please give this show a five-star rating and a review that helps other people find it. It makes other people want to subscribe. And really, truly, for my business, the more people that we have subscribing, listening, visiting the website, that is how the business makes money, which is how me and my team continue to be able to keep coming up with these great recipes and ideas for you. So any way that you can help get us new listeners, bookmark our page, come to the site, all of that stuff that helps us keep going. And I really appreciate it. I'm Christine Pittman from cookthestory.com, thecookful.com, the all new chicken cookbook. And from this podcast recipe of the day, I hope you have a great day. Let's get cooking. <laughs>